battle out there. What's going on? What's going on? All the doggos are losing their fucking minds. Oh, I think it's because a dude's running, of course. Dude's taking a jog. It's the end of the world, you guys. Hey guys, I got shit in the mail. Um, it's from Australia. So, um, dogs, vegan dogs. Um, I had a pair of non-vegan dogs from many, many years ago before I was vegan. And then I went vegan and I just donated all of my like leather, wool, all of that stuff. Um, and then maybe five years ago, I went and I bought my first pair of vegan dogs and I got the red ones. Um, but unfortunately, I bought these in the winter and I was wearing really thick socks. So I ended up getting a size, what I thought was one size too big um, because it kind of looked like fucking clown shoes when I wore them. Um, so I kind of stopped wearing them. And then I went out and bought a pair of the black ones while not wearing ridiculously thick socks. And these ones actually fit me. Turns out these ones are two sizes too big, which is why it's like hella clown shoes. Plus I think also just like too big and red clown shoes. Anyway, so I have the red ones and the black ones, both vegan. Um, these ones are fucking dirty as shit because I wear them every day when I take my dogs to the park. If you're wondering about how long it takes to break in the vegan ones, it took me about three months to break in the black pair. Um, I built up some nice calluses in the back of my heels, and yeah, I did have to wear band-aids for like the first two months, maybe. Um, just because, you know, big old blisters. But, yes, anyway, I'm hoping that because I have kind of conditioned my feet for docks, it'll be less painful breaking these ones in. But, anyway, let me tell you the story of these docks. Skip ahead if you don't want to hear me talk. Um, so, I decided I was going to get a pair of the platform docks. But the only vegan platform docks that they have on the official docks website are the red ones. Um, J Jaden, Jaden, I don't know what the fuck they're called. I don't know how to say it. Um, and I didn't really want another pair of the red ones because I realized that I do prefer the black ones. And then I was Googling and then I found that there were black vegan docks with the platforms and they're monos, so they're like all black. They don't have the signature like yellow stitching and the gold eyelets. It was just like all black. But the thing was, those were not on the official docs website. And every website that I found them on, they were completely sold out. And so I was just like, okay, are these like an old edition? Are these discontinued? Because at this point, I really wanted them. Because if you tell me I can't have something, I really fucking want it at that point because I have issues. <laughs> um, and so I was trying to figure out if they were discontinued. I was trying to figure out if I could fucking find them anywhere. Um, found them in Australia. So I got them. And I'm kind of scared because I never buy shoes online unless I already know what size I am in that exact brand. I can buy Vans online. This is my first time buying Docs online. According to my black ones, I am a UK 5. I ordered these in a UK 5. I'm still kind of scared. Um, yeah. So, these are my, uh, I'm gonna start playing live again this year, Boots. And my, I wrote a book, but I don't know when it's coming out because I'm so finicky and keep making changes to the layout Boots. And my, uh, I never really liked Platform, but Han Chi Sung from Stray Kids completely changed my mind Boots. I never used to be into the look of Platform Boots until that fucking man came along and every single time, I'm just like, fuck, I love his boots. <laughs> so I went and found a vegan pair. Okay. Stays. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't not notice them now. Ever since I noticed them once, I always notice his boots. 
All I gotta say, if you can pull off gold pants and platform boots, like, you're killing it. Fitzbo, I would like to be able to pull off gold pants and platform boots. Dr. Martens. UK5, US6, US7, Europe 38. Let's see. Okay. Yes, everything matches up. I hope these fit. They better fucking fit. I'll be devastated if they don't. Also, another reason why I did want, I did like the fact that these were the monos full black compared to the originals with the platform is because I already have the originals with like the, the yellow stitching and eyelets and stuff. So it's like, I would almost feel like it's wasteful for me to have two pairs that are exactly the same apart from like an inch or like a centimeter of extra stuff on the bottom because I don't know I need like legitimate reasons to buy things or I feel guilty okay <coughs> oh I have a letter it says Naomi thanks for your support they're gonna give me like a fucking coupon right I'm not ordering from Australia again. Downs shoes, Dr. Martin specialists. Queensland. Polish your dogs, no. <laughs> um. Hmm. I'll fucking tag them and stuff. Do not pull shoes off using one foot behind the other. This can damage the welt stitching and will void Dr. Martin's warranty. We can tell. Good to know. I will stop doing that. Do not give your dogs a bath or soak in a bucket of water. They will drown. Who the fuck? I mean, I have worn these in the rain, but I don't soak the insides. Um, if you need to stretch your dogs, use stretch spray or dampen with a damp cloth and wear for as long as you can and repeat. Um, if your dogs get saturated, put newspaper inside them to keep shape and turn upside down to allow water to escape. Hmm, smart. Polish them dry. If you can, once in a while, give your dogs a day off. Leather likes to rest. Bitch, these are vegan! Um, tear some leather, broken stitching, and separate soles are like cancer for dogs. Early detection and early treatment saves lives. Bitch, they're vegan! If your dogs get damaged, get them fixed ASAP. Dogs are individual, like I said, they have different skin, which requires different treatments. Bitch, they're vegan! <laughs> see, I don't know... I mean, we'll see if vegan dogs last longer than non-vegan dogs. I, you know... Okay, I'm just gonna fucking look at them now. I'm excited- Oh! Another story behind- I'm so sorry, this is like absolute tease mode. This is slow burn fanfic, you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, when I ordered them, due to the shipping, it was like, should arrive in about a week. And then on the day that it was like maybe going to arrive, Vancouver had a snow day. And because it rarely snows in Vancouver, when it does, the whole city just like shuts down and people don't know what the fuck to do. People still try driving without snow tires and oh my god, you should be fined for that if you do that. It's so fucking dangerous, don't do that. Um, anyway, because the whole city just like shut down for a day, everything got pushed back like a week. I have other stuff that I'm waiting on. I'm waiting for the third proofs of my book, and that should have been delivered about a week ago. It's just still... Oh, anyway, okay. <laughs> Stompy stomps. I also like that these have the zipper. These have a zipper. The other two do not. Ooh, they feel thick. She's thick. Oh, also, after I ordered these off the website, um, they were completely sold out of this size, so it turns out they only had one of these in stock for my size. Our vegan-friendly styles are just as kick-ass as Dr. Martin's originals. They look good, feel great, and are made absolute- but bleh, they are made using absolutely no animal products at all. So you can rock docs, whatever you stand for. Ah, français! Cette collection vegan n'utilisée n'utilise? I don't know how to- there's no accent. Nutis. Aucun produit ou produit dérivé provenant d'animaux. 
par conséquent. <rire> Fuck, par conséquent. La gamme des dons connaisseurs, les caractéristiques essentielles de notre marque et maintient les mêmes standards de confort, style et durabilité. Blah, 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 blah. Are you French? Was that terrible? J'ai étudié le français depuis 6 ans au collège, mais je suis très stupide, j'aime pas pas le français, je crains. Stompy Stomps. Apparently that's the fucking name now, Jesus Christ. All black. Mono. Black stitching, black eyelets. Got some platforms. How tall are these? But that's like an inch? Is that an inch? I mean, I could measure for you. I have a tape measure. Okay, so these, let's just do the back heel. Back heel is one inch. And these, holy mother of God. Back heel is, oh, it's like almost two inches. It's like one and, oh Jesus, don't make me do math. That's like one and 1.8 inches. Put these on. Okay. Yeah, better. I'm wearing shorts, you guys. I'm actually wearing shorts this time. Just you wait. These probably are discontinued, and then they're gonna get like re-released, and I'll be able to get them at my fucking mall, and I'll be like, wow, this would have saved me like fucking two hundred dollars. Hi. Are you judging my life choices? You're from Australia too! Do these smell like home? No, because you're from Sydney. These are from Queensland. Maybe. Okay, go for some fucking new boots. There's more things for me to wear while I walk you. Okay, fetch. Um, okay, I'm gonna put these on with the zippers up, I guess. Laces feel different. Yeah, these laces are different from the other ones. These ones are like round and the other ones are flat. Maybe it's a mono thing. Because the leather does feel thicker. It feels like the inside is lined with something. So maybe, you know, just everything about the boot is thick. They fit. For breaking in your docks, I recommend tying them all the way up and making them quite snug, and then once you've broken them in, feel free to loosen them up. But you will, you know, it'll be better if you do it up properly. In the beginning, these laces are longer than the other ones. It's kinda nice. It's a stompy stomp. <laughs> Wow, I'm just giving you full fucking crotch shots. I'm sorry. I'm wearing shorts. It doesn't matter, right? It just looks weirder because, wow, I'm sitting like a lady. What's up? Ugh. I'm gonna have to get used to having like a bigger foot. I bet I'm gonna be tripping over everything in the beginning. I don't know why I never used to like the look of the um, platform dogs. Also, I have never felt the desire to be taller. I am short. I always have been short, and I kind of like it. I like being a small bean, so I didn't want to be a taller bean. But I mean, who are we kidding? An extra, like, half inch isn't gonna make me tall. <laughs> so I can still be a small bean while wearing the stompy stomps. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
stompy stomps. I can already tell the parts that are gonna be super fun to break in on this shoe is right here. Bailey, you're kind of in the way. You're exactly where I need to stand to show off the boots. I don't want to step on you. You're gonna be very sad if I step on you. So yeah, that was me getting shit in the mail, and I hope you guys like this video. Um, while you're here, and while we're on the topic of Australia, I drew a picture that I'm selling as like prints, t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, bath mats, duvets, 
whatever you want. Um, link below. It's on Redbubble and 100% of the profit that is made from any of those sales I am donating to charities um, that are helping with uh, fighting the wildfires as well as um, like the aftermath. So animal hospitals, regular hospitals, um, you know, wildlife, rehabilitation, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to maybe check out some of the things, if you want to buy something, um, yeah, doing what I can to help. And that is going to be going for like the, the rest of time. <laughs> Anything made off of that print, I'm going to be donating. You know, whether it's this year, next year, five years from now, ten years from now, whatever. If you stumble on this video in like fucking the year 2050, I will still be donating stuff off of that print. Oh my god, how old am I gonna be? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Um, okay, having a bit of a... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so I know before I said that I don't speak French, and I don't. I can't hold a conversation in French. May uh... <laughs> um, I tend to... I either switch between English and this accent, English and my Australian accent that's just been coming back with a fucking vengeance and I can't really control it. It just happens sometimes, I don't know. Um, as well as Korean and French. It's like my brain has two categories. There's English, which is either this accent or my Australian accent, and then there's not English, which is either French or Korean, sometimes Japanese, sometimes a few little things in German. Any like Anything I've picked up throughout my life is in that category. And sometimes I will say entire sentences that are built up of multiple languages and people are just like, what? That being said, I can barely speak English and anyway, yeah, this was, wow, what a video. I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> and until next time, adios, motherfuckers.